I'm back today with another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. And today we are making a collar card. Isn't that fun? The collar is this part right there. So there's the outside of the card, then there's the inside. Pretty simple to do. The first thing you will need is a piece of cardstock. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter to make our card base. Then we need two pieces of white cardstock. They both measure four by five and a quarter. Piece of black, this is two and a quarter by two and a quarter and a piece of white that is two by two. The first thing we are gonna do is make our own background paper. I'm gonna bring in a scratch piece here. The stamps that I'm using is from May May Made It. It is called the Bee's Knees, one of my favorites. I'm using the honeycomb, the trail, the greeting, and also the bee himself. I'm gonna bring in some yellow ink. This is Stampin' Up Hello Honey. I'm gonna grab the honeycomb, ink it up, stamp off, and then stamp on my paper. You want to, you can of course use a double-sided paper, but I like making my own. Yeah, so I'll do one more here, another one right there, turn it, and do one right there, okay? So I'm done with the yellow, I can close that one up. I'm gonna flip it over and do the white side or the other side. I'm using black ink this time, and I'm using the trail, which is right there from the B that up. Now you're just going to kind of stamp it here and there and everywhere. Turn your stamp, turn your paper. You don't want to create a pattern. And we'll do maybe one more right there and here and here. Okay, so now we have our paper. I'm actually gonna leave that black ink open and bring in my little piece of white that is two by two and grab the bumblebee, ink that up. I'm gonna stamp that kind of on an angle a little bit so he fits there nicely, just like that. I think I'm gonna grab a little trail as well. And there we go. All right, so we are done with the ink for now. Let's go ahead and take this away. Now we wanna create the color part, which is right here. I'm gonna bring my trimmer over. Now this is five and a quarter inches. Half of that is two and five eighths. I'm gonna see if I can zoom you guys in, and I'm using the Cricut trimmer. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys into the two inch mark here. Okay, so there's our two inch mark, there's our three inch mark. There are 16 lines going from the two to the three. So if you were looking at two and three sixteenths, you would go to the third line and then cut or score. Every other line, is the eighth. So if you look here, we have the two inch mark. Every other, so we're gonna skip that one, go to this one, that is one eighth, skip that one, go to this one, is two eighth, skip that one, go to that one, is three, skip four, skip five, skip six, skip seven, okay? So I'm gonna bring my paper in, and I'm gonna line it up at the two and five eighth inch mark. So again, we're gonna skip, we're gonna go every other. So I have this one here, that's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna bring that in there like that, okay? So now I have my two and five eighth inch mark on my trimmer. And what I'm gonna do is come down about an inch and three quarters, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna hold this and just bring it down to about an inch and three quarters. And you have on your trimmer, I think all trimmers have that, the ruler on the side. All right, so now we have, it looks like that, okay? I'm gonna bring that over, bring this back down so you guys can see it. And what I'm gonna do is take my pencil and just put a little dot right there so I can see where they meet. See my little dot right there? I'm gonna grab a roller and my Cricut spatula. I'm gonna take the side of my spatula, line it up down here at the corner of my cardstock, bring my roller up, and then line it up with that dot, just like that. And then I'm gonna need to go ahead and use the side of my spatula to score. Okay, so now I have a score mark there. I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing on this side. To the side of my, my spatula on the corner of our paper, bring this over and line my roller up with the dot. Give it two little rubs and now we have our square marks. I'm gonna take them and fold them. Crease them with your bone folder. Now at this point, you determine what side you want to be the front of the card. Okay, I'm gonna bring in our yellow background so you can see this better. So it can look like that with more of the honeycomb showing and less of the trail, or you can bring it around this way and have more of the trail showing 
and less the honeycomb. I'm going to go that side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this one a crease here. All right, now when, you make, when you're making your card, you want to lay this down. And now you want to, you're going to stamp your green right here. So I would just maybe practice with a piece of copy paper first before you cut your cardstock or your paper to make sure your greeting's going to fit there when this is opened. Okay, and the greeting I'm using is from the same stamp, Be Calm and Buzz On. I'm going to grab that. It's already on my block. I'm going to grab my black ink. Now, if you want to, you could use a stamp and a jig or something along those lines. I'm just going to kind of go for it and stamp straight down, straight up. Okay, now if you want to, you can go crooked. I often do that a lot, just go purposely crooked. So if you're off a little bit, nobody will know. All right, so we have our card base. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the back of this. I'm going to bring my ATG over first and get the bulk of this. All right, and then I'm going to bring in, I'm going to sit my light, sorry about that. Um, art glitter glue from May May Made It. Now, you don't want to glue our flaps here. You want to make sure you keep them open. So I'm going to put glue along the line like that and like that and then just a little bit here and there. Okay, so I'm going to hold it like that. Bring my card front over, lining it up. You can also leave it like that and it'd be like a secret message as well. But I'm actually going to pop these up. I'm going to bring in my foamy things. There they are. And I'm going to grab some scissors. This is packed empty, so I'm just going to use the negative part. Cut those. Take the backing off. Put that one here. And this one right here. I'm going to give them a squish. Take the backing off of these ones. And just flip it over. Okay, so it gives it a little bit of lift right there. All right, let's grab our B. So I have my paper here. Where'd my B go? I tell you guys, I can lose my hair. I think I lost my B. Hang on. I'm having a moment. Do you guys see it? You guys are probably thinking, yes, yeah, thanks. It's right there in front of your nose. Usually that's where it is. Oh, okay, I can't find it. You know what? We're just going to cut it. Right, so, another piece of cardstock here. This is two by two. Oh, that little bee. He probably flew off. He says, uh-uh. You're not gluing me down. I'm going to fly and be free. All right, let's grab our black ink again and grab that bee. This time we're going to hold on to them. All right, stamp them down, straight down, straight up. And I'm going to grab the trail along there. I'll take that and lift that off, I think. All right, so we got the B. We're going to hold on to them. He's not going anywhere this time. And we're going to flip him over, put some glue on him so he can't get away. And then put him on our black piece here. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. All right, let's bring our card piece back over. Now, I do want to pop him up. Now, this part of the card has already popped up, so I don't want to pop up half of him. So I'm going to bring these over again. Cut a little strip. So we look at the V, how he is. We want to put dimensionals or foam tape on this side of him. So I'm going to flip him over and put that right there. Take the backing off. And then just put a little bit of glue in the corners to help hold it down to the other piece we have there. Okay, just like that. And we're going to plop him down. So now he can no longer fly away. Super cute. Isn't that, isn't that a fun card? All right, go ahead and get all that squish. Now we're going to do our inside. So I'm going to grab the other piece of paper that we have, the four by five and a quarter. And we're going to stamp the same thing. We're going to grab that same yellow ink and that honeycomb. Ink that up. I'm going to stamp it off and just stamp it down here on the bottom. And if you're using a double-sided paper, just take one side and make, you know, make a strip or something down there. And just grab that little trail again. I'm just going to put maybe one here. I think that's fine. All right, we're done with that glue, so I can put my pin in that before I lose that. The bee will come by and pick it up, right? All right, put that in there. All right, flip it over, and 
card base. Open that up. And just going to lay them in there. Isn't that fun? Super cute. I love that. And there's the inside there, and then there's this one over here. All right, guys, there you have it. Today's um, Pinterest-inspired project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.